hi guys welcome to my channel this reading for today it is a collective tarot reading session for all signs i hope you are doing well i hope you are fine and safe and doing good let us see what is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know this is a collective reading for all signs we will cover all areas of life um, career, money, um, love, inspiration. Let us see what is the message that is meant for you. Okay. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Let us see what is your guided message. What can I get for my subscribers, viewers? If you haven't clicked the bell, oh my gosh, the first card is a three of swords. Um, we're starting the reading it looks like a love message a love reading okay this is a bit of a heavy start with three of swords in the background i feel like you've been crying lately for some of you guys it was a heavy heartbreak or i would say it made you cry uh, for some of you it's just a heavy disappointment you know it's it's like you're coming to it you're coming to the peak or you're coming into the verge of releasing this desire or your interest towards this person it's that there's a part of you you're into your feelings you know like when you think of this person it hurts you it hurts you that they can do this to you because you cannot do it to them the queen of pentacles in here capricorn taurus virgo energy um i feel like right now no matter how difficult and like you cried it out like the three of swords it speaks to me that you you have you have you have soaked into this mixed of three of swords energy and feelings it means that you've gone through the crying the disappointment you've probably been angry you've been bitter for some of you guys a mix of emotions you've gone through a lot when it comes to this i feel like it's a love message it, it when it comes to this connection or relationship it could also be a heavy family drama dynamic okay if it's not it's definitely like a um someone gave you a heartbreak um you've gone through the cycle all, all like you've gone through the cycle of all of the feelings that you need to kind of it's like if this is a heartbreak you've gone through the life cycle of a heartbreak because you are now a queen of pentacles in here okay i would say you're stronger okay i would say this heartbreak you admit i cried I've been desperate for some of you. I've been bitter. I've been angry. But look at me. I'm standing tall because I know my worth. Okay. So you are like this is a, this is a, I would say this is the most interesting fight of um, in terms of heartbreak because it's so you plunge so deep. You know, you plunge like rock bottom. Look at that. Like you're crying in the shower. You know, look at that. This is how painful it is. You plunge so deep. You thought you're never going to rise. But you came out twice stronger. This three of swords. So um, for some of you guys, the heartbreak, it was your catalyst. It was your fuel to rise, you know, and be better. It's like I don't seek revenge. I just want to be successful. So you were fighting the heartbreak feeling. But you you were determined to fight it off i would say you were so determined to fight off the heartbreak feeling like this is this queen of pentacles i mean look at the queen of pentacles it's like it's it's talking to me like you know what if i once i move on from you i'm gonna be so stronger i'm gonna be super duper successful my name you would see my name everywhere so <clears throat> for some of you the way you the way you rise from this three of swords is to be successful okay the queen of pentacles you have discovered a lot about yourself a lot about your life 
um, with this experience, okay? The Three of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles in here. You have experienced how strong, like you have unleashed the strongest version of yourself because of this heartbreak. Oh, I'm so, so shocked. Five of Cups. Well, the reason why I'm picking up this vibe is this person who gave you the heartbreak, they're, the, they're having their own heartbreak with the Five of Cups. Someone, this person even, like they didn't even apologize with you. Like um, they're even proud to break your heart for some of you guys. This person, this person was even proud that they break your heart. When they think of you, I break your heart. When they think of you, that was my decision is to cheat on you. It's, it is what it is. So there is ego with this person when they did, you know, it, during the part where you were heartbroken, this person's like, well, I'm evil. I did what I have to did. You know, I'm selfish. You know, it is what it is. There was a lot of ego uh, from this person. Like this person has no conscience at all. And fast forward right now, this person is into a five of cups, probably worse than what they made you feel. So they've never apologized to you. This five of cups, they will reclaim, redeem themselves. I see this person around the festivity time, maybe Christmas. Um, someone who's like no talking is gonna return. I don't think this person wants some sort of reconciliation, although for some of you, they might try to reconnect in a romantic way, but basically this person would like to get your full apology. The unapologetic is now on the verge of losing everything. You know, look at them, five of cups. Um, so they might stalk you first they might use a different um i'm hearing the word username or they might stalk a different um stock they might use a different name to approach you but it is like the reason why i'm picking up this vibe is to let you know that this is a karmic cycle someone did bad you fought the fight you rise look at that now that person who did who gave you the three of swords it's now karma time so karma is on them and in order to close off this one they've got to come back and say sorry and for some of you this five of cups you know for some of you guys i'm kind of picking up that they will never feel completely redeemed you know if they wouldn't say sorry so it's part of their soul contract in order to fully you know embrace a new cycle without karmic debt is to come back to you they feel so bad they did something reckless or they did something they did something so disrespectful to someone like you who just who you just wanted to love them like imagine you know i just wanted to love you and you betrayed me the five of swords you know this person made you be they even made you a promise like full-blown third party for some of you guys but it made you so stronger this experience it made you so intelligent so stronger it made you a fighter in life it made you believe in yourself you know it made you love and love and love and love yourself and your life you know after this heartbreak you were you are a different person two of pentacles in here you your your world expanded after this heartbreak you know um two of pentacles in here look at that you are the tower you are love and thunder look at that the tower card you become so strong like this is like this is a reading where you are so strong you become so strong after this heartbreak now it's time for you to fall in love four of pentacles in here so you've gone through a complete 360 of life event you're very smart i believe the two of pentacles in here i believe you dated after this person but none of them was made it it's possible that because you're probably not healed or it's it because it's your intention to i believe you've been picky or because of this heartbreak you're very protective of yourself because this is two to four okay two you know after this heartbreak you did tested the water and you did date and you have realized that your usual type that you dated it you're no longer attracted to them with the two of pentacles in here because from two you become the tower card you you are a completely different person you realize that you can attract more like you if if those people are your usual type that's attracted to you after this heartbreak um 
a new kind of breed of people are attracted to you and friends and lovers okay so you become love and thunder like you were able to unleash the best version of yourself after this heartbreak it even made you rich um four of pentacles you're ready i feel like you passed the test with the four of pentacles in here the universe is now going to give you the best of the best the four of pentacles in here you've been single for two years or four years You've been single for two years, four years, five years for some of you. Minimum of two to five years you've been single. There you go. You're ready to fall in love. Like the universe telling you, you have completed the full spiritual cycle. You have ascended. You are the best version of yourself. You know how to say no. You can predict if this person is good, bad, or evil. You're not perfect, but you're really living your best life. You're living your best life. You know that what you don't have right now is still work in progress. The next chapter of your life is all about love. Ooh, look at that. The Queen of Cups. Something, there is a, there is a situation, there's a cycle. You're going to join. You're going to join a cycle where, where it's all about love, okay? So I want you to know that you've gone through the full life cycle of the Three of Swords, redeeming yourself getting a karmic closure you know understanding you know what you need to learn from there um changing your palate you would realize that your your palate your your taste your appetite it completely changed the type of people that you are attracted from the past completely different from now moving up until the immediate future you are a tower you have break the fun the old foundation and you're going to it's like rebrand yourself with the Queen of Cups. This is the most, you know, this this deck, it's very futuristic. This is you. You're going to be a future muse, okay? So, yeah, temp just wait. Just wait. Look at that. The Temperance card, the Moon card, the, the Moon is pink. Oh, it could be in the full moon. I feel like the full moon is happening next year. Yeah, because we have a new moon last two to three two to three days two two days ago two, two to three days ago there was a new moon and i think the new the full moon is pretty much check where when is the next full moon i think it's gonna land into um the new year but the universe is telling you you are in the right path okay the temperance card um we will give you the best of the best person the best of the best offer look at the moon the moon is so pink and glowing so probably you might go to some glow up complete glow up you know you're going to launch yourself there's a feeling of i'm gonna go like there's a feeling very soon you like very soon you feel so empowered to go and see the world okay with the moon card in here the pink moon yeah ace of swords I would say there's a lineup of people that would be interested to connect with you in friendship and love and business and I see you entertaining them so for some of you this is like you're rebranding you're gonna entertain lots of people who's interested to be friends to be lovers to be business partnership I see you visiting places too in the places you visit uh, interesting people line up you're full of wisdom you have an owl okay you're full of wisdom you're being guided okay all right now let's see what else is the message for you what can i get for whoever needs this reading please if you are seeing this reading because of the title because of the thumbnail i'm definitely sure that this is not a coincidence this is something that is meant for you to know let's see the six of swords you will be traveling so the next three four six weeks there is a lot of unexpected visitors, unexpected travel, unexpected serendipitous moment and event. And it's going to give, it's going to push you or get you closer to the right path, the right people, to the right source of inspiration or to the right source of true love. Okay. What they're telling me as promise, like what they're, tra what, what they're telling me is that only love can connect with you. Only love can find you. Okay. like you're like if you feel like in the past you've like you know I'm, I'm getting this I'm getting this feeling that in the past I've always 
all of the people I love betrayed me. There's a feeling of like, in the past, my journey to love and relationship, it all went uh, to a breakup, like crazy breakup. That's not going to happen anymore. Okay, you've experienced the worst. Everything is going to get better for you. Yeah, the ace of materials. The people that you're going to meet, the people that you're going to connect, they're full of security and they're, you know, they don't speak much, but they do a lot of security, a lot of promising action. Ace of Pentacles in here. Um, let's see. Let's go to specific. It could be a Leo. For some of you, there's some... For some of you, the closest energy I'm getting is that there is something in the sunset or in the sunrise that you will meet a special person. Sunset, sunrise. I'm also seeing like um, somewhere close to something that has a green color. I'm seeing green vegetables in here. There's also like, um, I'm seeing a lot, but the next secure lover or person of interest that is truly aligning your path is somewhere where there is sunset, sunrise, or something that is green. Could also be green thumb or some something that's um, a body of water that is green, or maybe it's something that has a color green. Okay, it 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 makes me feel that you're going to explore something that is organic, something ecosystem something about also a fundraising for some of you guys something to do with earth green like you're going to connect with community that has something to do with um ethical um something with a cost like like you're gonna connect with it could be like an organic cafe for some of you but something of an event or a place that supports green organic nature ethical okay um that is where you're gonna that is where you're gonna find this there's a lot there's a lot of people interesting uh, people aligned to your energy to your path this is one of the closest i could pick up for you okay and they have an alan 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 um letter i and f and a and they have it's also it could be also a community event for some of you but it's very I'm, I'm getting an image of like a like a boho kind of setup in here it could be a book launch it could also be like something to do with tattoo artist for some of you but it's a person aligned to you it's a kind person you know it's a kind person you will feel so warm and you will feel so you will feel so safe around this person. Their smile, their voice, it's so mesmerizing. It feels safe so, to be around them. The strength card. Very, very protective. And this is what I have you and this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much, guys, for connecting with me. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. I hope you like the reading. I hope you have connected with me. If you do, please click the bell, click subscribe. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day.